Welcome to Product Complete. I am so excited you've decided to take a look at this. Now before we go any further, what I'd like to do is to give you a quick overview of what to expect. First of all, everything we do here has an objective. So let's be very clear on what is the objective for Product Complete. By the end of Product Complete, you would have created and launched a complete product. This is the objective, to create and launch a complete product. Now the interesting thing is that there's going to be kind of a knock-on effect objective, which is going to be the fact that you will have mastered a repeatable and effective creation process for this product and all of the future ones to come. So these are our two key objectives, to create and launch a complete product and to really internalize and master an effective and repeatable process for product creation. There are 12 modules in the course, starting with this overview. Then we take a look at how to pick a topic, how to write a sales letter around selling that specific topic. We then create the product outline develop the actual product, we do the edits, make sure that we've got a compelling title and cover. We then get going on the pre-launch activities and choosing a marketplace to launch. We then learn how to publish on Kindle or publish on Digi Results, or perhaps both, and the product launch. The final module is really a summary of all of the other modules. So if you wanted the microwave version, this is the right place to go. Let's now take a look at how the modules are structured. Each module has an objective and that's usually encapsulated in the title of the specific module. For example, choosing a topic. The objective of that module is to choose a topic. Then there is one or more video walkthroughs where tools are involved. I have also included walkthroughs using screencasts where you can watch over my shoulder as I use the tool. And then you have one or more action tasks related to completing the objective in the module. And finally, each module also has the appropriate templates or worksheets to help you work through the complete module. Now, if you want to get the absolute best out of this course, this is what I would do. First of all, make sure that you watch the videos and you have a good understanding of the material. Then do the tasks. And please, commit to yourself that you will move forward a little bit each and every day. You want a further challenge? Set a product launch date. Yes, set a date. Set it up to be 7 to 21 days from today, but set a date. You can do it. You ready? Now, just like every other module, the overview is no different. We have an action task for you to do right now. Here's what you're going to do. I want you to set aside 1 to 2 hours per day. Think about it. Decide what are the hours that you will set aside each day. Is it going to be 3 to 5? Is it going to be 7 to 9 p.m.? Will it be first thing in the morning? Will it be an hour during your lunch break at work? Or will it be an hour before everybody's up? Think about it and decide. Now that you've decided which hours and which days of the week you're going to do it, write it into your calendar right now. So decide on one to two hours a day that you're going to set aside. It would be great if it's at least five days a week. So set aside one to two hours a day, write it into your calendar. Once you've done that, I want you to take this little scary step, but take it anyway. Set a product launch date. And for this one, I'd like you to write it on a post-it note and stick it on the side of your display, stick it on the side of your monitor or on the wall close to where you work. Nobody else needs to know what it is. Just put the date and keep it visible. You got that? Excellent. And finally, I need you to get one tool which you're going to need for the course. I need you to get a timer. I know I'm a little timer obsessed, but believe me, it gets it done. If you have a smartphone, there probably already is one that's built in. 
and that's what you will use. You will note that with these action tasks, we always have a to-do, and then we also have an outcome, so that this is what you do, and the outcome should be, in our case, a product timeline. So you're going to know which days you're going to work on it, and you will have a launch date already determined, and that actually gives you your timeline. How exciting is this? And more importantly, what you will have is a ready mindset because you've at least thought through into the future on how you are going to set aside this time to work on your product, you are now ready to go. Now the time that it's going to take you to do this action task, which basically consists of deciding which hours in your day you're going to dedicate to this, writing in your calendar and picking a launch date, shouldn't take you more than half an hour. So get your timer ready to go for your 30 minutes so you can get going and do this one action task. Now remember, you don't actually need to know what is the product that you're going to build. You don't need to know anything about the product. You just need to decide that you're going to block off this time. So go and do this task right now.